Hey everyone, real quick, I want to thank sponsor today's video being Fetch Rewards. So Fetch works with literally any retail receipt. It's a super easy and free app where you actually earn free rewards on literally anything you buy. So whether it's like groceries or restaurants, you can scan any receipt or e-receipt to earn points. And you can just redeem those points then for hundreds of rewards, such as like Amazon gift cards, Visa gift cards. Fetch is also totally free and the app is super easy to use. So why I use Fetch is you can scan a receipt, redeem points, and use that reward all from your mobile app in seconds. You simply just scan the receipt, and literally no matter where it's from, it's a simple process. And then there's a vast reward options. Like I said, you can literally turn any purchase into rewards for almost anywhere. And you can scan both physical receipts and e-receipts right on the app, and it just searches your emails for eligible receipts. So seriously, you're spending money anyway, you might as well benefit from it. So check out the link in the description, use code JOEL to get 5,000 points when you scan your first receipt. Yes, that's right. So like I said, click that link down below. Use a code Joel and get 5,000 points. Hey everyone, Joel Answer. Today we're in Augusta, Maine. Yes, Augusta, Maine. It's been a long time since I've been in Maine. The first time I've ever been in Augusta. Here outside Enzone, guys. Enzone Pizza here during their Grid Iron Challenge. So this is a very large pizza challenge. In fact, it is 30 inches. So it is a 30 inch pizza challenge. It is a team challenge. Two people have 45 minutes, or you can solo it and get 90 minutes. Um, if you do, you get the meal for free. I believe the pizza is about $60 or so for the challenge. And only one team has ever beaten it out of countless attempts. They said many, many attempts. Only one team has ever beaten it with two seconds to spare. Yes, so the record is 44 minutes, 58 seconds. Rules are quite simple. You have 45 minutes to complete the challenge. Then after you eat the pizza, you have to wait 10 minutes to make sure nothing else happens. No reversal effect, we'll call it that. So I'm going to team up with a gentleman named David, David Cheats. He's a gentleman from Spain. Uh, he does some food challenges. And then I'm here with also my good friends, Joe Burger Challenge and Mr. Ricardo Tufet. Ricardo, so we're all going to be doing some challenges, guys. Should be a lot of fun. But uh, yeah, so that, let's head on in. Let's have fun these food. Let's get eating. All right, everybody. So here I am with the pizza. We got Joe and Ricardo just over here. I'll pop it over uh, during it. Uh, so yeah, big pizza. We went with half green pepper, half ham. I've never seen square pieces of kind of ham like that on the pizza before, so that's pretty cool. Joe and Ricardo went with olives and onions, so they're keeping it healthy veggies today. Um, that's about it. Dave, ready to eat? I'm ready to eat. Yeah, so it should be good, guys. Like you said, the record is 40, basically 45 minutes, two seconds shy. Um, so yeah, that's about that. And if we win, we get 100 bucks and we free pizza, so that's pretty cool. So uh, let's get started here. Just momentarily. All right, so I'm ready. I think all the guys are ready. We are ready. We are so ready. How about we get started? We'll say maybe at the count of, what do you say, guys? Five, four, three, two, one. Let us go. Vamos. Go, go, go. Not bad. Right. It's still warm, which is good. Mmm. I got I got to eat the water. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I mean food is much better when it's warm. How's it guys? Good? It's pretty thin crust, and then the uh, light, like lightish sauce, medium cheese. The crust is pretty crispy, but it's not bad. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today here we are taking on the Grid Iron Challenge here at the end zone in Augusta, Maine. So definitely lots of football references and uh, even some football memorabilia and or team stuff behind us. So definitely a very sport oriented restaurant. So Augusta, Maine is quite small and this place is arguably in the middle of nowhere and like not really but you know what I mean it's not in like a big city or anything like that so it was really cool to actually get up to this area there was lots of beautiful countryside um, you know quite a lot of stuff to see of course Maine is well known for its lobster its coast those cold Pacific ports that water um, but hey they also have some good pizza as well 
well. And this was honestly a good pizza. This is my favorite style of pizza. It's like a thinner crust. Arguably, some people might kind of call it like a New York style, but I really liked it. We are about two minutes, 15 seconds in. No complaint. You're good then? Pretty good. David, you're a comodín. You're a comodín de la llamada, eh? Peter, I'm going to have a little bit of a <laughs> so the rules of the challenge are pretty straightforward. Two people, 45 minutes, one pizza, and one big, big, big pizza. Um, so again, I was eating with Mr. Dave. Dave is from Spain. He doesn't do food challenges, but he does eat a lot, that's for sure. Help yourself to both and then as I mentioned, we had our other Spanish friends beside us, which was a lot of fun traveling with all these gentlemen. Uh, it was fun going around with all the Spaniards. They definitely kept things interesting. And we got to go to some really cool places, such as Augusta, Maine, that I probably wouldn't have otherwise. Um, it had been a long time since I've been in Maine, uh, really since I lived on the East Coast. And so this was just a good excuse to get back. Yeah, let's go down, that, go down nice and easy, guys, what is that? Because it's like that nice kind of New Yorkish style. That's my, my, my preference style of pizza. As we mentioned, there had only been one winning team, so it definitely speaks to the difficulty of this challenge. Um, overall, I would say the pizza was 10 pounds, maybe. That will say, let's say 10-ish pounds. Um, you know, it, but it's not. I will say it was very legit. Like I think it was a very fair challenge. 45 minutes, 10 pounds. Uh, it's definitely a good intermediate level. <laughs> I'm gonna try some of the ham pizza. Just under four minutes in. Hey, prueba los dos sabores. Te va a liar igual. Si yo llevo un cuarto por cien. Y lo dejamos ya de pimiento. Algo más acá de Colombia. De esa podríamos abusar yo, ¿no? Sí, de sobra. Actually, the hand is in touch. Do you like ham and pineapple? Pizza? Yeah, I like pineapple pizza. I will say, guys, I'm, I'm also okay with cheap pineapple. It's not my number one, but I definitely like it. Let me know down below what you think of ham, pineapple, and pizza. It's pretty controversial. They will pay for that. And with a $100 cash prize on the pizza, I think it is a really good incentive for people to try it. So, again, if you are a big eater, you can eat five pounds, and you have a friend that can eat five pounds. I think this is a uh, definite challenge to give a go, although not that I ever recommend trying food challenges, but I will say in general, the pizza from this place was actually really enjoyable. I tell you, Joe and Ricardo are killing this stuff. <laughs> My go-to pizza toppings are always green pepper and ham, just kind of for strategy and for preference. But let me know your favorite kind of pizza down below, like your favorite pizza toppings. Because in all reality, I think my all-time favorite might be like a standard pepperoni or something. I've had some really bougie pizzas with truffles and stuff on it, which were absolutely amazing. But if we're talking like just standard straight up, I mean, I don't know, it's hard to go wrong with like a meat lover's pizza. I mean, some bacon, pepperoni, like, I mean, hey, it's not necessarily the healthiest thing, but those are some of my favorite toppings. So like I said, let me know your favorite pizza toppings down below. I also had a dish of sauce, which I love. I absolutely love pizza sauces, and they had a really good pizza sauce here. So I was dipping my pizza in it, um, you know, and then I also had it not only just for the crust, but for in totality. I love like a good tomato sauce, and this one was a good bit of sweetness. Um, they made it here, and I really enjoyed it. Like I literally had a cup of sauce. Joe, Joe and them are getting some sauce. It's definitely the way to go. <laughs> I 
But to that, everybody, I believe that's all the info I really have for you today. Pretty straightforward. Um, so with that, let's tune on in. Let's see what happens. Hopefully, we can actually A, complete the challenge. Maybe we'll be able to beat that old record of about 45 minutes. And of course, hopefully, we'll be able to get that cash prize. Yes, that $100 sweet, sweet cash prize. And a free meal, of course. Um, so like I said at that, let's tune on in. Let's get to the rest of the video. And for all those people who are wondering, you can follow my travels on the YouTube community tab, on my Facebook page, and on my Instagram page um, with links to all those in the description down below. So check those out and let's get to the rest of the video. We are just over some guys. Let's go. No buzz. I like Dave's uh, sandwich style eating the pizza. Dave, ¿qué tal la pizza? Muy buena, muy ligerita. Se han quedado cortos de queso. Bueno, ahora. Good amount of cheese. No es más. Everyone, so we are nine minutes, 15 seconds in. We're doing very well. We only got three-ish pizzas left. Joe and them got, I think, only four, so they're absolutely killing it. So, like I said, we'll keep on trucking. So I think we're both going to come in under that 44 minute and 58 second record. La comenta que tuve David. Ya lo estoy intentando. Me he picado. Corre David que se te comenta que tuvo. No puedo. Dile que te espere. Dile que te espere. Me voy a llamar. Me voy. Se cae aquí para mí. Se la pilla.
Mira, mira, talón. No, tranquilo, eh. Sí, sí, sí. So just shy of 15 and a half minutes, 15, 28, I believe, was the uh, was the exact time. But hey, huge thanks to Dave for joining me. Thank you. Would you like to invite me? Yeah, actually, what would you think of the pizza? It was great. Yeah. I I love we. We feed with a two soft toppings. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think yeah, those are kind of my go to toppings. Glad you like them as well. Real kind of, you know, I know, easy variety. Just a little protein, a little bit of vegetables. You know, yeah, I kind of have a little bit of Keep so the now, balance. Yeah, I'm going to crank our this, uh, camera over now to Joe and Ricardo. They're killing it. They're literally just down to like, like basically two slices. Um, so they're absolutely doing fantastic. We're going to get a pizza for free. We can get a new record and we get 100 bucks, which is cool. And like I said, these guys are well on their way to. Uh, winning any moment here as well. So we'll kind of showcase that. Let me hop on over. And I will say, there you go. You can see they only got a couple scraps left. So they're doing real well, guys. So keep it up. Like it? Your pizza? Yeah. 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 And what I. So we're coming out about 20 minutes, everybody. 20 minutes coming in. Joe and Ricardo are coming out. Keep up the good things. Bye, bye, bye. into our 10 minute, I don't know, after period, so we're doing good so far, we're yeah. doing good so far. Perfect. And uh, Joe and Ricardo are very, very close to finishing, so it'll be done here momentarily. Make sure nothing bad happens. <laughs> and uh, that's about it, guys. So, 
huge thank you to all the staff here at Enzo. I'm gonna hop this off back. I'll just come up here so I can get Dave in this as well. So yeah, huge thanks to all the staff here, guys. Uh, very friendly people. It was a good pizza, I got no complaints. So if you're ever in Augusta, Maine, you know where to come uh, by. With that, um, what'd you guys think of the challenge? I love this pizza, this pizza and I really enjoy it. Good, 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 good. Ricardo, bueno? Bueno, yeah. Good, good, good. 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 And uh, Dave? Okay, it was great. Awesome. So that everyone, until next time, first happy with your happy eating. Actually, well, I'll tune back in, I guess, in 10 minutes after Joe and Ricardo uh, complete their 10 minute wait period. But I'll just say goodbye for now. If you don't hear anything, they made it. So until next time, everybody say happy, hungry, happy eating. Have a good day. All right, so Joe and Ricardo made it and we got some t-shirts, which is I tackled the gridiron challenge and I won. So there you go, guys. Like we said, real cool place. End zone, I got some aim. Thank you so much. And since it's so Spanish, mucho gusto. No, gracias, mucho gracias, guys. Everyone, so we made it down to Cape Elizabeth. We're in Cape Elizabeth in Maine. Basically outside of Portland, Maine, guys, here with a whole bunch of the Spaniards. Um, but yeah, so what we are doing here today, let me find where this mic cover is. I don't have my other one. Or I don't have the little mic, but we, uh, as you can see, some of the sights here, it's very gorgeous. We're doing some sightseeing before we go do some eating and all that stuff. But yeah, so Cape Elizabeth here, guys, there is some, um, there's a big lighthouse here somewhere i don't know where it is it's uh you can see the fog actually rolling and this is really cool so for those you're not familiar right off the ocean so look we have like the ocean and then we have the fog rolling in so we were here about you know the fog rolling in, not be able to see at sea there you go um and then there's like some little fortresses and stuff like that one over there so yeah good stuff guys good stuff we'll see what we can see if we even get to see anything with this fog coming in with so the lighthouse. This is cool. We're uh, you know, getting a little closer to the water. You can see all the rocks. They uh, have some really cool colors on them, like kind of rust. I don't know if it's because there's iron in it that's causing it to actually oxidize and turn like that. But, nonetheless, cool spot. Beautiful spot really off the coast here. And here's the lighthouse. So we are approaching the lighthouse. And then again, the water with that fog coming in, but you actually hear the fog horns going off at the lighthouse. So this is, uh, this is cool. It's been a long time since I've done any exploring on the East Coast. I used to live on the East Coast. A little bit of history about the Portland headlight or the lighthouse. Uh, it was actually commissioned by George Washington in 1790. It's crazy how old this thing was. You know, so, you know, it, it's just insane and uh, I mean you know this is actually a plaque to the 350th anniversary guys I mean this thing is this thing is 300 you know whatever years old it's uh it's or you know two three whatever it is so that's insane guys but super cool all right guys we're actually right by the headlight or the lighthouse I see it is very very large still got the boats doing their foghorns and everything in the back there uh, but yeah, so it's pretty cool. Uh, old, obviously, um, and it's really cool. You know, it's always fun being with, you know, meeting new people from all around the world. So meeting with my Spanish friends, you know, one thing they mention and it's totally true is, you know, it's funny, old by our North American standards, you know, two, 300 years old, um, is actually not that old compared to like European standards. I mean, over there, you, you know, get, you, you know, lighthouses, churches, buildings that are like five six seven eight hundred years so really cool to kind of have the perspective but by american standards a very old and long-standing uh you know site and monument uh which is pretty cool uh, obviously this is a seasonal place we're here in march so like the museum's closed and stuff but a lot of the east coast here um, if you're not familiar is operating on a more seasonal schedule so you know tourism which makes sense there's the horn tourism makes sense when it's warm out and then we are kind of up by part of this building slash fortress thingy thing um, definitely old it looks really cool there's also another little bit um, but you can't really go in it because it's all blocked off but I mean it's a very old building you can tell so pretty cool and uh, I mean you know, the fact that this is been here for however many hundreds of years is pretty impressive. I mean, 
You would never know that this is a group of, you know, 40-year-old men just, you know, <laughs> swinging on this way. All right, so as I do a lot of driving, I see a lot of license plates, but I have never seen a license plate like this. I am super surprised they were allowed to have that, and I'm pretty impressed. I mean, I got to give it to them. That was, uh, that is, that is a heck of a license plate. So there you go, guys. I'm not gonna repeat, say, you know, say what it says, but there you go, very interesting. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe, yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And with that, thank you so much, you rock.